Today I have a very exciting video for you because Essence and Catrice have announced their new Sister Love collection. This time it's not Disney. I couldn't believe it either, but they are not doing a Disney Sister Love collection. They are doing a Harley Quinn and Joker collection and there's a lot to talk about. So let's get into it. All right. So I woke up this morning, I checked my phone and there it was, the news that there would be a new Sister Love collection. And I'm always very interested to see what's in these collections because they do a bunch of different things usually. They really go all out. And I just also, I want to share it with you. And I've already looked at this collection, like I looked at these products to kind of make up my mind, but I wanted to share it with you. And I also want to hear what you think, what you want to see, what don't you want to see, what don't you care about, what do you care about? Um, let's start with the Essence Harley Quinn collection. I do have to say I am personally not that really into like the Joker and Harley Quinn. I've seen some of the movies, I've enjoyed them, but I'm not like a die-hard fan. So in the Harley Quinn collection we have two eyeshadow palettes. One is kind of like blue and red and one is kind of like pinky pastels, kind of soft. They kind of took this theme and made it kind of like soft and girly, which I think is interesting. It doesn't feel like super like comic-y. It feels quite girly, at least this essence part. I do quite like the look of these palettes. I don't know what the quality is gonna be like, if I'm gonna like the quality. I feel like the Disney palettes, like the Disney Sister Love palettes are usually a little hit and miss. So, I'm probably gonna try one of these. I don't know if I would go with the blue one. I don't wear a lot of blue eyeshadow. I think I might go with the pink one because I, if I actually like the quality, then I can see myself wearing these colors quite a bit. I do love kind of like pinky, purplish, softer shades like this. There are also, oh, there are also two cake liners in each palette and they have 12 shades each. Um, they do have the three hearts in the middle, which is... Maybe not something that I would have chosen, like a round palette is also not really something I would have chosen, but I'm just gonna like try it out. I'm just gonna accept it and try it out and see if the quality is good. It doesn't bug me enough to not try it out. Then we have the Essence Harley Quinn Colored Mascara. We have a purple shade and a blue shade. I do have to say, the purple shade looks kind of cute. I would like to try that out. I feel like that might come out really nice. Also kind of like with summery looks or with purple looks or maybe a little lash line. It kind of depends how colorful it actually is gonna be on the lashes because mascara usually turns a little darker. Kind of depends on what your natural lash color is. My natural lashes are pretty deep so I feel like this might turn a little bit of a deeper purple. Depends on the mascara. I probably will pick that up. Then we have the Essence Harley Quinn Hydro Gel Eye Patches. These are 30 pairs for $7.99 so you can really like use a pair a day, I don't know. This is something that I'm gonna see if I'm gonna pick it up. I would have to check the ingredients because I have very sensitive skin. If this is perfume or things that I cannot handle, then I'm not gonna buy it. Uh, also kind of depends how many other products of this collection I wanna buy. I'm probably gonna make a little bit of a wish list and um, like really make some decisions. But it also depends if you're asking me like, please try these gel patches, I might just do it. Then we have the pink fixing powder. This is a pink loose setting powder with a little hard like applicator. It's $3.99. I don't really know if I need it. I don't really know if this is the most interesting thing to buy from the collection. I already have a pink setting powder from Luna Beauty that I enjoy. Um, so I don't know if I need another one. I also don't use too much powder. I just use a little bit. If I even use it, like today I totally forgot to use it even. Um, so I'm not really like a huge powder user. I have pretty dry skin. Um, if I powder a little bit after I've done, if, after I'm done doing my makeup, then it's gonna like stay like that for the rest of the day. I mean, I don't really need to keep oils at bay. So um, I'm not sure about that. The Essence Harley Quinn highlighter brush actually looks pretty cute. It is $3.99. It kind of has this blue to pink gradient. It's kind of cute, but I don't know if this is the thing that people want to see. It's not something that I personally need. Um, so it kind of depends. Are people excited about this? That's really gonna be the thing that could convince me. Then we have the Essence Harley Quinn makeup sponge. This is kind of like a 
like a combination of blue and pink once again like we have a lot of blue and pink going on in this collection i think it looks cute but i usually don't really use a sponge so i'm not gonna buy this for sure and then we have the essence harley quinn meta glow highlighters we have a one rebel which looks a little bit more like pinky like pinky purple and then we have zero two lucky you which looks more bluish and we have the medical highlighter in the essence update that is kind of like bluish purple so i feel like these are gonna be a similar formula which is quite nice i quite like the formula it's kind of smooth it's quite nice and glowy it's not too powdery it doesn't have any glitter in it it's very smooth with a shift to it and it kind of blends in quite nicely with the skin even for the bluish purple shade that the one has that i have um i could be convinced to buy the pink one i think i i think i would quite like the pink one so probably gonna pick up one of these highlighters those are 3.99 apparently i forgot to turn on one of my background lights now you can see my background again um yeah it's pretty interesting then we have the essence Harley queen dewy glow stick it is a body oil in a stick format so is it more makeup or more skincare it's a bit hard to say or is it kind of like this balmy highlighter situation i might have to pick it up just to see what it is this is 549 let's see then we have the essence harley quinn multi-reflective lip gloss uh, we have two shades a zero one harley glow and zero two harley chic one is more of a red pink, one is more of a blue. Gives your lips a 3D effect. I thought I saw somewhere that these are kind of like pH reacting, but I can't see that here where I'm looking now. I d it doesn't say that here, so maybe it's something else. I hope it's not gonna be pH personally. Um, if I pick one of these up, it's probably not gonna be the blue one. It's probably gonna be the pinky red one. Then we have the Essence Harley Quinn Jelly Lipstick. And these are those click clicky clicky pants shiny lipsticks that we haven't seen from essence yet we only have seen that from catrice we have a pink a red and a kind of like mauve purplish shade the pink is called psycho pink then we have a 02 gotham glam for the red and then 03 bad mauve it has an ultra shiny finish these are gonna be 329 I'll probably pick these up because I'm very interested to see if these are a similar formula to the Catrice one or if they're different. I usually also really like these types of products. I quite like to wear them like with more simple looks on the daily, kind of like a little balm. I really uh, like that. Ooh, then we have the Essence Harley Quinn Holo Balm Effect Nail Lacquer. Uh, we have kind of like a berry shade, which is called the 01 XOXO Harley. And we have a 02 Chaos Queen, which is kind of like a gunmetal bluish gray. I did not realize that these were holographic, but these are from the Holobalm line. So these are actually holographic. I have tried one of the Holobalm uh, nail polishes. I don't remember the shade, but it's kind of like a berry purpley pink. And I really enjoyed it. So I might pick up the berry one i might give the one a go that looks really cute then we also have some essence harley quinn nail stickers these are going to be 2.99 i usually don't really use nail stickers i have bought some in the past and never actually applied them on the nails and then we also have some essence harley quinn scrunchies in pink red and kind of like bluish purple cute but i don't know if i need this in my life and we also have a makeup bag this is going to be 5.99 um with harley quinn blowing up bubblegum cute but i don't need it i think and then we also have essence harley quinn face jewels i never really use face jewels i don't know if i should like get on board like hop on a train am i missing something um this looks pretty cute though but it's really like it feels like something for a party and to be honest i never go to parties I don't go out and I'm very happy about that. All right, then we have Catrice and the Joker collection. We have two eyeshadow palettes. One is 010, the Jokes on You, and then we have 020, the Crown Prince of Crime. And one is more purpley, one is more green. The green one is a little too swampy, warm for me. I know I'm not gonna use those shades. Um, I'm probably gonna pick up the purple one. Usually that is what I do with this is a lot of collections. I grab the purple one. I do love purple and kind of like cool tone-ish shades. So I'll probably pick that one up. Those are gonna be $12.99 each. I think I'll probably buy the purple one from Catrice and the pink one from Essence and then try an eyeshadow palette from each. Like 
Last year we had the Mickey and Friends collection and I don't think I actually bought an Essence palette then because I didn't really like the look of those. Like the, like the Mickey Mini collection didn't interest me as much as the Winnie the Pooh collection. But here I feel like the vibes are pretty like evenly distributed. So I'll probably do a bit of both. I also do a bit of both, but a little bit more like evenly. And then we have the Joker eyeshadow brush. This is $2.99. It's purple with green. It looks pretty cute. It looks pretty cute actually. A little Halloween-y, but pretty cute. And then we have Catrice. The Joker eyeshadow topper. So we have two toppers. We have one in 010 Hazardous and 020 Pow. These are gonna be 449. We have a green one and kind of like a periwinkle, kind of like grayish, purplish, bluish one. I am kind of tempted to buy both of these. This could be really cute. I don't think I've seen Catrice do something like an eyeshadow topper, or I haven't bought it. I haven't really realized it. I haven't tried it myself at least, so I would like to try it. Then we have Catrice the Joker colored false lashes. Oh, this is pretty fun. So we have a 010 quirky purple pizzazz and we have 020 the Joker's glance. The purple lashes look really cute. Like the purple are full on purple it seems. And then we have the green that are black with a hint of green. I never wear lashes. I feel... I, I think I've only worn lashes once in my life because all lashes are black and I don't like black mascara on myself and I also don't like black lashes on myself. I feel like it's just too harsh. Um, so this kind of interests me because purple false lashes, I mean, purple mascara, it's kind of, it's interesting me. Should I try applying false lashes? But that's gonna, that's gonna be a whole ordeal. I, Remember being so bad at applying the false lashes I applied like 15 years ago. Um, also, I didn't know what to do. Now I know you have to let the glue dry a little bit. At least I know that. Um, this could be an experiment, but I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should try that. They are $4.99 a piece. I have to make my list. I have to make up my mind. I have to see if I think this is worth it. Like $4.99 for an experiment. Like if you really want to see it, I can do it. But I think I'm gonna feel like I look crazy. Then we have the Joker liquid eyeliner. We have a purple one, which is in a purple packaging with a green detail. And we have a green one, which is in green packaging with purple detail. I think that's really cute. I quite like the collection, like the packaging and the vibe. Even though I'm not a huge fan of this IP, like, pretty cute. So we have a 010 Ironic Jester and then we have 020 Incredible Jokes. These are gonna be 4 49 each. Whew, the purple one looks cute. It looks cute. I'm gonna see how I feel. I'm gonna see what I wanna do with it. And then we also have the Joker Maxi Baked Bronzer. So these look pretty warm toned. 010 can't catch me which looks a little lighter and then we have 020 most wanted which looks a little deeper and more warm these are 7.99 each i think this is gonna be a bit risky usually catrice does bronzers that i like that have good undertones for my skin but it feels a little risky so i don't know how i feel like 7.99 it's not super cheap for a bronzer that doesn't look good on you I'll have to think about it. Then we have Catrice the Joker liquid blush. And when I saw that these were actually liquid blushes, I got pretty excited. These are very different like packaging. I feel like they really put a lot of work in these collections because the formulas are different, the packagings are different. Usually I do feel like they do things that they kind of already know or have in their collection. So we have a pink one, which is called Prankster Pro. We have an orange one which is the Joker's Joy and then we have a purple one which is Puddin Plum. I'll probably buy the pink one. I don't know if the orange one, the orange one is not gonna look good on me. The purple one is probably gonna be too deep on me. I'm gonna try the pink one probably. These, it doesn't say the price of these but I'm gonna guess that these are around five euros. It's really interesting. Then we also have the Catrice the Joker liquid blush brush. Also purple with the green details. It looks really cute. This is 5 dollars 
this is one that I'm gonna consider if I want to pick it up. I did really like the brush from the last collection, or no, the collection before that, but it did shed a lot when I washed it. So, um, could be good, could be... I'm gonna think, I'm gonna think. Then we have Catrice the Joker Too Faced Face Serum. Too Faced Face Serum with Squally. This is $5.99. The packaging is cute, but I don't feel like I really need this in my life. And then we have the Joker Hair and Body Mist. Fresh, a refreshing spray for hair and face. It's a quick touch-up on the way. It costs $4.99. Um, I don't really know what it is. Is this gonna be like a fresh scent? Maybe. Or is it more kind of like a water spray, just a little refreshing? I'm probably not gonna buy this. I don't feel like this is gonna be the thing that people wanna see and it's not something I feel like I need in my life. Then we have the Catrice the Joker Lip Oil with Vitamin E. This one is $4.99. It's a light and not sticky. I don't really know. I feel like this is gonna be a very sheer pink. I hope it's not gonna be one that is pH reacting, but it looks like it could be. Packaging looks really cute. I love what they did with the packaging once again. Then we have Catrice the Joker Matte Lipstick. We have 010 All About Giggles and 020 Serious Smiles. And these are $4.99. They are matte and they have a really cool like purple green packaging that I really like. I don't know exactly how I feel about these shades. I don't feel like I need another bright red-ish lipstick but the other one could be something kind of depends if it's not too much of a warmish brown if it's more rosy then i could like it i'll probably pick it up just to see like if i like the formula and the shade i like the embossing and lipstick this could be cool then we have the hydrogel lip patches they have hyaluronic acid um these are 6.99 there's a lot of kind of skincare in here I don't really know how to feel about this. I don't think I'm gonna pick this up. And then we have the Joker Body Lotion with Hydrating Panthenol in it. It's $5.99. It has uh, 150 milliliters. It has a fresh scent that makes me feel like it's scented and I'm allergic to perfume, so probably not gonna pick that up. And then we have the Joker brush bag, which is... This is a silicone brush bag that you can wash. And you can use this to, to travel with your makeup brushes. Okay, that might be interesting. This is $4.99. That might actually be interesting because I do feel like when I throw my makeup brushes in a bag that the powder, like what's already on it, goes all over. And this way, the rest of your makeup doesn't get dirty. So this could actually be interesting. I, this could be interesting. And then we have the Joker body tattoos. Not something that I need in my life. Could be fun for like kids or Halloween, but we are far from Halloween. These are 349 euros. Okay, that was everything. Wow, that was a whole list of products. I feel like this is gonna be a pretty long video just because there is so much going on here. I feel like they are very interesting products for kind of like a full face. I'll probably do a video when I can get my hands on this with two different looks with Harley Quinn and with the Joker. I feel like even though the IP, like the theme, isn't really fully up my alley, I feel like they did a really good job translating it and make it like really cute packaging with the gradient, with the different colors. Like they really let the theme run throughout the whole collection. And I feel like there are some interesting products here, some interesting formulas that we haven't really seen that much of before. So I'm actually really excited. I don't feel like there's a highlighter in this collection. Oh wait, we have the Meta Glow highlights. Okay, this is gonna be really fun. I am looking forward to trying this collection. And then that is gonna be the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe. And please let me know what you think. Like, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you want to see. I do listen if people tell me, like if my viewers tell me I want to see this. Would be so cool if you put this in a video. I will probably listen so let me know and yeah thank you so much for watching don't forget to like the video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye, -bye.